Hi, I'm Glass from Redwick, and I'm going to show you Bitwig Studio 2. It's coming February 28th, and we got lots of new features to show you. Uh, one, what we're showing in this setup is uh, we're integrating the computer with a DC coupled interface and a modular rack. So in this case, the, we have the modular CV instrument and a kick going to the hardware. So this is this is a analog kick, as well a cinnamon filter which we control with CV gate signals. And these ones are then going out and back into the box. I will now layer it with a second kick, which is within Bitwig. And you will hear that the timing is spot on because of the latency compensating the input coming back in just like we do for plugins. So What's happening technically here? Well, you have the gate out. Oh, wait a minute. You have the CV and gate signals going from the sound card to, to the modular. In this case, it's controlling the, the, the cutoff of a filter, which is self resonating. And we trigger an envelope with that to, to start the signal of it. And then the, the second thing we're doing is we're sending out clock signals. We're sending it through this bustle click device, which is kind of like an amplifier for clock signals to get to the right URAC levels. Which then controls the step sequencer over here, which then goes on the kick. Okay. And this is perfectly tied together with the Bitwig devices. And everything is in perfect sync this way. We're also using the modulators in this setup. We're even using an hardware CV input instrument to do a let me show you. New frequency modulation of the pitch going out to the CD within Bitwig and then bringing that back. So that kind of shows you that the modulation within Bitwig is at audio rate as well. So you can do things like this that you normally can only do in modular systems. So it's not like meaning control that is much, much tighter and much more precise. What's, what's happening with the surface now that you got here? Well, the surface is a great computer, and uh, yeah, it's just a great huge touchscreen that makes the software look great because it's such high resolution, so bright, and yeah, we we'll love it. So, can you tell me uh, the features of Bitwig 2 then? Right. The major feature, I would say, is the, the modulation devices, the modulators. Here you can see, for example, we have an LFO going. This LFO is then in turn modulating this four-stage modulator, which we then can map to anything we want. So, okay, let's map it to the sink, and you'll see that it will jump out. This is even being done per voice here, because you see the green hours being said it's polyphonic, the blue hours uh, imply monophonic modulators. You can do this on any device, as many modulators as you want. And you can even do that on VC, the only limitation that it's monophonic. You can't do monophonic modulation on these things because it's just not possible. We have quite a lot, a bunch of different modulators. Here you see a different list. You have a four-stage envelope which you can freely modulate. This is the one you're seeing here. You have an ADSR envelope which is an analog model, which is the same as we used to have in Polyson. Now you can add as many as you want. The longer AH DSR filter. Audio sidechain side lets you plug in any audio signal from anywhere. Let's, let me grab the kick here. You see that, that the kick is then generating a modulation signal which I can grab and apply to whatever I want. We also support VC3 now. That's a new thing and uh, we're the first, except for Cubase, to actually support note expressions on VC3. So you can do the note expressions in the note editor and send that to the VC3 instrument which supports it. Which currently is mostly the Steinberg ones, yeah. but I hope that's going to be more soon. And we added Fades as one feature, and we did a pretty big redesign of the GUI to make it more approachable, more consistent, and just a nicer experience overall. Uh, February 28th is the release date, it's going to retail for $3.99.